Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Father Mark Kelly, parish priest, the parish communities of Our Ladies in Beath, St Bridget's in Kilburnie, and St Palladius in Dalry. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. In addition to my parish duties, I'm also chaplain to a large Catholic secondary school where I get to work with the young people, experiencing their joys and sorrows, their hopes and fears, as well as supporting the staff who educate and help the next generation to grow and flourish. I therefore speak with some experience when I invite you today to reflect upon what I would describe as the current crisis in teenage and young adult mental health. Well, it is undoubtedly a positive development for us as a society that we now have parity of esteem between physical and mental health issues and that much of the stigma or taboo around mental health has been lessened. This very welcome change has had some unintended consequences. Firstly, since this long overdue development has happened relatively rapidly, it has meant that the way we address and open ourselves up to the challenges in mental health has been a fairly steep learning curve. Secondly, while ignoring our mental health is disastrous, addressing it in an unstructured or uncontrolled fashion can also be damaging. Thirdly, I fear that the unique fragility and vulnerability of teenagers and young adults during this societal change has yet to be fully recognised in the overall positive step of us all being more willing to discuss and seek to address mental health concerns. A rapid, unfocused and general opening of mental health has left some feeling adrift or overwhelmed, albeit that's never been anyone's intention or policy. And this disconnect is particularly acute among the young. In addition to providing extra support for those in immediate crises, I would invite you to consider what can be done to provide progressive, long-term developmental help so that all children can gradually adapt into this field as they become teenagers and young adults. I would like to thank you for the opportunity to address you this afternoon and wish you success in your deliberations as you seek to enhance the common good of all while leaving no one behind. Please be assured of people's continued gratitude, good wishes, and from those of faith, prayers for you and for the good work that you do. And may God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.